They ruled the Earth for over 160 million years. Giants of scale, masters of adaptation, sculpted by survival, shaped by time. And then, suddenly, they vanished. Their bones turned to stone, their voices fell silent. Yet still, they haunt us, in the myths we tell, in the birds that soar above. Dinosaurs are not just relics, they are a mystery, a question echoing through time. Can they return? And if they do, what will we call them? Animals? Wonders? Or something else entirely? In 1996, a sheep named Dolly changed everything. She became the world's first cloned mammal. A single cell made history. Since then, we've cloned more than 20 species. Cows, dogs, endangered cats, even the extinct Pyrenean ibex, briefly revived for seven minutes. And in 2025, science crossed another line. A dire wolf embryo, successfully cloned, bringing back a predator last seen 10,000 years ago. But science isn't stopping there. From Boston to Beijing, researchers are pushing further, working to resurrect the woolly mammoth, using frozen DNA and the precise tools of gene editing, CRISPR. They're inserting mammoth genes into Asian elephant embryos. At Harvard, Dr. George Church leads this effort, not to clone the past, but to engineer it. This is de-extinction, and it is no longer science fiction. If we can bring back a mammoth, if we can bring back a direwolf, could we bring back a dinosaur? To clone a dinosaur, we need one thing. It's DNA. But here's the problem. DNA is fragile. Even under perfect conditions, it breaks down fast. A 2020 study calculated its half-life at 521 years, after about 6.8 million years, even the best preserved samples are dust. Dinosaurs vanished over 65 million years ago. And despite what Jurassic Park told us, no intact dinosaur genome has ever been recovered. Not from bone, not from tar, not even from amber. Jurassic Park was thrilling, but it's science, fiction. Without DNA, the blueprint is gone. And with it, so is the real dinosaur. But what if the past isn't lost, just hidden? Birds are living dinosaurs. Their bones, their feathers, even their lungs, all carry echoes of the ancient theropods, the same group that gave us T-Rex. And no bird is closer to that past than the chicken. In a project known as Chickenosaurus, scientists like Jack Horner are attempting the extraordinary. They're reactivating dormant genes for tails, for teeth, for clawed hands. Genes buried deep inside the chicken genome. In one lab, researchers engineered a chicken embryo with a snout, not a beak. It's not quite a dinosaur, but it's not just a bird either. It's a window into evolution, a flicker of the ancient world, reborn. In 2005, paleontologist Mary Schweitzer made a discovery no one thought possible. Soft tissue, still preserved, inside a T-Rex femur. Elastic, stretchy, still holding form after 68 million years. For decades, we believed protein molecules decayed in just thousands of years. But Schweitzer's finding changed everything. And she wasn't alone. In 2024, scientists confirmed the presence of collagen and protein fragments in multiple dinosaur fossils. Using spectroscopy and high-resolution molecular scanning, these aren't blueprints for life. They're not DNA, but they are biological whispers 
traces of how dinosaurs moved, breathed, grew. Not resurrection, but revelation. Even if we could bring them back, should we? Would these creatures thrive in our world? Or would they suffer, trapped in artificial jungles, caged curiosities, sold for profit? The Pyrenean Ibex, revived in 2003, died within minutes. Its lungs collapsed. A life created, only to vanish again. Is this compassion or curiosity gone too far? The power of de-extinction is real. But power, untempered by wisdom, invites ruin. Science must ask, not only can we, but should we? Can we bring dinosaurs back? Not the towering giants of the Mesozoic, not the real Triceratops, or Stegosaurus, or T-Rex, but something just as astonishing. Chickens with teeth and tails, mammoths roaming the Arctic once again, dire wolves reborn beneath the northern stars, species that vanished before we arrived, now stirring on the edge of existence. We're not just digging up bones, we're rewriting the future. But let us remember, even if we walk among them again, they are not monsters. They are animals, majestic, mysterious, deserving not just of awe, but of respect. The past was wild, the future might be wilder still.